Hi everyone, Byron Martin here at Logis Greenhouses. One of the things that we always look for in terms of our horticultural production and flowers is those plants that can flower over a very long time. And I can remember uh, when I was younger down at Longwood, they'd call it high mileage plants. And these are plants that can go into situations and bloom for months and months and months. And actually one of the plants that they have used in the past is this um, lollipop plant or Pacistachia lutea. It's a very fast grower and it really prefers relatively high fertility. But the good thing about it is, is that it doesn't really like full sun. So it's not a plant where you'll see out in the open. We've tried them in full sun exposures and pots for summertime and it really doesn't perform very well. The leaves get very brassy and the flowers really don't produce as heavy as they would if they were given a little bit of shade. So in its native habitat, it actually grows more like an understory plant than it does for something that grows, grows out in the open. The blooming cycle of this starts usually in late spring, mid to late spring, so probably 1st of May, maybe a lot of part of April. The light level is high enough, so bud formation starts. And this flowering will go on until we get down into late September into October. And it can even go beyond that. You can see the bloom starting, they come out. This is actually a bract that forms and the white little flowerlets that come out are the true flowers. And they flower from the bottom and come up. And all these are the beginnings of new blooms that will be in flower probably within the next month or so. There are issues with white fly and there would be issues with um, spider mite if, it got, if situations got very dry, like in a home in the wintertime, you might have to watch for that. Mealybugs do like it and actually they'll get into the flowers. So, you know, if you're gonna grow it, make sure you don't have any mealybugs nearby because they probably will get on it. As I mentioned, it does like fertilizer, but you're growing it under lower lights. So make sure that even though you may be giving it regularly, back off a little bit on it so you don't burn them. And the only other thing you have to do periodically is chop it down. And we'll take that, this plant and bring it, you can see right here, we'll cut that. It's been, this is an old plant. It's been many, many times this has been cut. We'll prune that right back so there's actually no foliage on it at all at the end of its cycle. It grows out again. Anytime it gets too high, which it really won't at this cycle because there's so many flowers coming on it, you give it a heavy pruning and it starts all over again. One of the greatest plants for lower light and long flowering is the Pacistachia lutea or the lollipop flower. Hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like more information, visit us at logies.com.